hello and welcome uh, this time we will configure a uh, snort a snort is the core or the engine of the intrusion prevention and intrusion detection system snort uh, is so cool project uh, snort also uh, provide uh, a lot of functionality in different uh, things like uh, also sniffing and filtering and uh, a lot a lot of things also snort uh, snort is so complex project there is a lot of things to learn there's a lot of things to uh, to talk about so what we will do first we will go to the packages do you see unable to check for uh, Enable to check for uh, for updates. Why this uh, may may happen for you is uh, that the DNS resolver is the same as the DNS forwarder for this firewall. So he is just asking himself again and again and again. So we will not get available packages right now. Oh, good. But to solve the issue of the update, we'll, I will show you after we install Snort. Sometimes it takes just uh, more time to... Uh, of course, uh, they, they have uh, special categories for everything. Uh, so it's not like uh, the uh, in the past. So it's not security category. You can go to security, and you can find snort the I don't fifth uh, option, and confirm to install snort. Now uh, he will go to uh, pfSense packages repository and uh, so on, and uh, will download. Uh, snort the engine of our pf uh, okay it's taking too long so what i will do uh, is this i will go to general setup and i tell i will tell him do not use uh, snort as you know this thing uh, you, uh, he will use his uh, loopback address to resolve the the configuration now you can see that we kind of solve the and obtain uh, update stats you are the last person uh, see um, sometimes you need to uh, think of these but it's still the DNS resolver and forwarder for the other host now uh, what i will do first thing uh, i will tell you that uh, i use uh, kali linux uh, this is uh, like uh, they insist as a as the free software and the open source world to uh, that i should they should see me uh, use uh, this cool distribution so uh, it's not like yeah, I use Kali Linux. Uh, you know, Kali Linux is not uh, very good the desktop uh, for uh, for normal users because uh, it has a lot of functionality for penetration and uh, for security testing and so on. Uh, so you can uh, first thing I love Backtrack. I love Debian. You know. Debian based systems. Uh, I have nothing against, uh, of course, Red Hat and RBM. Uh, of course, they are so great. Uh, they really build a solid system uh, and uh, so on. And now, um, I didn't leave uh, also uh, Ubuntu. Uh, I know Ubuntu, uh, we have some issues uh, uh, in the free software uh, and uh, open source uh, things. But uh, I think they they can solve some of these issues uh, uh, as soon as possible and uh, possible and <laughs> um, 
I think uh, they are part of this community, but they have to change some of uh, of their policies uh, as overall policies. Uh, now, uh, of course, it's uh, Debian based, so it's uh, like uh, I want to use Debian, I want to use Backtrack, so they will give you Kali Linux. Kali Linux is distribution from our friends uh, in the offensive security. Uh, they are so great. They are also the, the distributor of uh, Backtrack uh, 1 and 2 and 3, um, uh, R1, R2, R3, uh, uh, Backtrack uh, 3, 4 and 5. So they are so good. They, they have. Now, um, what, what's important, they solve the documentation issue and they create so awesome uh, forums. Uh, for their uh, distribution uh, and also there is uh, a lot of things they also provide uh, uh, training uh, and uh, a lot of security services uh, now uh, also they <laughs> give you those to be always now this is not uh, a normal desktop uh, for anybody but uh, it's good it's cool uh, for testing everything they prepare everything to be uh, up and running so you don't need a lot to change to start your penetration testing for uh, servers and networks and so on uh, I think they uh, really uh, uh, invest a lot of uh, time uh, a, lo a lot of their time as offensive uh, security team to uh, to produce this uh, cool uh, distribution now what I will do, I will go to packages and uh, also uh, we, I want to mention that Snort uh, is our uh, intrusion prevention. It's like the, the core of our uh, system. So what we will do is uh, we will go to security and we will go to Snort and we will add Snort. You see? becomes faster and faster so be sure to make to check that mark uh, for your firewall also they have a uh, good bandwidth uh, for their repository for it will not take so much now uh, I want to show you how to subscribe and how to make uh, an account but I found that uh, I have an account and my IP address is like saved uh, in the uh, vulnerability research team and snort team and uh, BFSense so you can't use a lot of uh, of uh, let's say of their sensors uh, and you know one home you need almost not sensor half a sensor I like to make uh, free software and open source videos because uh, I take it so serious as a free software project. And I think uh, uh, all, all the free software projects should have a financial model uh, to a business model to, to keep these uh, to uh, projects uh, working and up and running uh, all the time. And this is so amazing. Uh, you, you need to buy, uh, if you need to buy an uh, intrusion prevention system, how much it costs? Uh, it's like, uh, I don't know, 10,000, 15,000 for ISP, uh, it's more than 20,000. I don't know how much they uh, will invest in their uh, intrusion prevention systems. Now, you can have one, like this thing, you can see how the functionality and so on. Then you can subscribe to get all the, uh, let's say, amazing uh, things and uh, things... Uh, let's say prepared and uh, uh, main focus uh, on uh, the other th things uh, 
uh, let's say a uh, golden subscription on this thing uh, is uh, tend to be um, focused on the business model so for your home you will not need like um, anything more than the normal uh, pf sense with the normal uh, uh, snort uh, intrusion prevention system but also for personal use if you want to uh, let's say uh, to uh, to be part of this project and to provide support for this project you can subscribe for a personal sensor like I don't know uh, VRT is like uh, not so much like $30 or something for one year so you can do uh, and you can arrange yourself to for this thing now we get snort and we will go to snort and first thing you should do is go to a, a global settings and you can see now we have global settings uh, for snort vrt you have a paid subscription and a registered uh, see free registration and paid subscription what's the difference is that uh, the update interval is it takes uh, uh, longer than uh, the paid subscription so you can see and you can provide your omni link it's something like this and uh, after that you will go and download uh, now we'll go and just show you uh, let's check some of them and we will say yes we will update uh, let's say every seven days or every one day as you like maybe four will be best for you and uh, start uh, update interval on eight o'clock let's say remove blocked host maybe you will check this for 12 hours or one hour this is uh, this is all uh, up to you and then we will go to uh, updates and we will start updating and i know it will fail because <laughs> you know uh this the same uh the same ip address i told you um i subscribed for with the email and i get all the rules for my sensor so it may will not work but we will try we will try okay rules update task is completed let's return to see what happened and you can see uh, we have uh, almost all of them the 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 other thing is vrt rules so maybe i will show you but it's so simple you will go to snort.org and you will subscribe uh, by your email and you will get the o uh, o in uh, o in k on k i don't know what's its name it's like onk name o in master onk master onk master nice name anyway uh, after we update we will go and we will install a new interface and uh, now I will tell you maybe you will have like uh, three four five six interfaces but uh, what we care about uh, the most we care about is the one interface and I will tell you if there is a wireless access point or wireless let's say uh, subnet in your network of course you will choose the wireless also to uh, and you will uh, add another interface which is uh, the wireless now uh, do we want to send yes we want block offenders to block anybody trying to uh, preach your uh, or penetrate to your uh, systems and okay fine save now you will get this warning mark interface currently no rules defined let's go and define some rules for him 
now we will go to one categories and we will check uh, now this is uh, referred to you this is up to you how you can check these things because more check rules uh, more processing and more slow uh, if you have a lot of traffic uh, so you may uh, have subscription to bfsense or to snort project vrt vulnerability research team uh, so they will provide you uh, and tell you what you should uh, care about so if um, I don't have like web servers why should I care about web servers I don't uh, like web servers don't use it and then so on so if you don't have uh, uh, some functionality in your network why you protect your network from these things like uh, let's say I don't use chat I don't need it uh, DNS I don't uh, let's say not DNS let's say ICMP I don't use ICMP I block I all ICMP from the one so you see let's say it's uh, just the one and this thing ah, I told you it's uh, or uh, if you have peer-to-peer -peer server SQL I don't use I don't have a SQL I don't have telnet I don't but uh, you know uh, you need uh, <laughs> you need more uh, to sit with your IT persons and to see what all those things does in your network and how to protect them and last thing we will go and we will save I like to save uh, more than one time why because I I must be sure that uh, when the pfSense firewall uh, starts it will load all the modules it will uh, load all the modules uh, in the booting process and this is the last one ah, I promise last one <laughs> okay this is the uh, uh, first step now what should we do we can't uh, do anything here right now because we don't have modules so what we should do to load those modules is to make a reboot let's reboot the system now what will happen I will show you what will happen uh, just let's let's wait the system to be rebooted what's what's uh, so painful these days that uh, everybody uh, watch the lastest uh, let's say vulnerability our holes in uh, some companies uh, firewalls or web servers and they start just hacking it's just like yeah let's say let's see if uh, the uh, server will go down or let's say if this firewall will I don't know what will happen for it uh, and let's say if uh, this thing will d be destroyed uh, just by running some scripts it's just like yeah uh, you know uh, I will tell you I will tell you that uh, web servers and uh, all sites on the internet most of them uh, are dedicated for work so people will lose their job will lose money it's like uh, you go to uh, to the supermarket and uh, you carry a pump in your hand and throw it in that uh, supermarket and see let's see how he will panic how he will jump what the fuck is wrong with you man <laughs> I'm sorry 
Uh, so that's it. You will destroy dreams of some people or you will somebody maybe you will lose his job somebody will lose money and some other where there is people feed their uh, families from those website on the internet i i i i uh, don't have any personal issues with any proprietary company um or i don't have anything with them so i will go to snort now and we will make a report uh, make a login and now we will load uh, we uh, we load all the modules and i don't know what happened it was working on my uh, it was uh, something like this i have a pc with pentium 4 cpu 2.5 with one gig of rams uh, so uh, it was working good with all snort and uh, a lot of functionality then it start to be so slow in booting uh, so slow to the level that you think he you can write the words on the screen uh, with a pen I, I don't know what happened but I think there is something wrong uh happening to maybe the kernel or something i don't know what uh, what is it uh, anyways now uh, we will go to snort and we will configure the remaining things now uh do you see it's disabled so what we will do is we will go to our one and we will go to one categories and we will what's wrong Yeah. I can't you yeah. I know what's wrong now. I know what's wrong. Do you see now VRT or vulnerability research team uh they will provide you with the omni link this omni link will uh, provide you with the uh, intrusion or, or will enable the intrusion prevention system uh, here right right uh, sorry here we'll use ibs so uh, I will go then uh, after I um, uh, provide the IBS. I will enable uh, Panyard and then I will enable syslogan, yes, or local only. Uh, maybe you will configure also the uh, log facility and then you will save. After you save, you can see now it will not work, I'm sure. I think it will not work. <laughs> Sometimes you don't know what happened. Now you can see that it's not working okay fine now let's uh, switch yeah but you can't use the IBS Panyard it's uh, currently working which is here uh, Panyard provide you with the intrusion prevention system now I will switch to my real firewall and you can see that the panyard is disabled now uh, if we go and let's uh, go and you can see now we have the intrusion prevention system let's say yeah i want it to connectivity i want the uh, all things uh, just for for demonstration purposes and we will say save i tell you um, it will check all the packets uh, for all the rules uh, it's uh, a lot of processing and a lot of uh, work and payload on our firewall now if we go here and we will enable the panyard and after we enable the panyard they will ask us uh, about the things we need to do and uh, so on and we will enable syslogging and we will uh, what is the wrong 
is that remote local only okay local only and we will say save please provide host name ip address to oh, dns okay let's go here and oh sorry okay fine let's say save now i know it will not work ah, okay 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 because i do it multiple times sometimes something goes wrong so i will return and i will go to panyard and we will enable panyard you don't need almost nothing ho here and we will go and we will enable that's so cool now okay panyard is running and we have the intrusion prevention now you have three levels but i will tell you for your home uh i don't know maybe balance or connectivity security is so so restricted so you will stick with those uh, security is something like for uh global uh and uh, intelligence system and these things now that's it that's everything uh we will go to our interfaces now you can see now it's disabled you can see now it's enabled now we will go and we will sit down here and see how we can do things i have this uh this uh console and let's say we want to i will show you the uh no 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 ah come on okay show sorry okay f config and let's grab i net good um uh, uh this is the first one this is uh, what connect me to the uh, global interface of the firewall and this one connect me to the local local interface of the firewall uh so we have connectivity in two direction what i will do i will show you now if we say route i make sure that the default gateway will go to the one interface of the firewall uh and we will say an map let's say pn and we will say 192.168.10.105 and let's go to our firewall let's refresh you can see now it's a blocked uh everything blocked everything uh you can see now we can uh let's say feel the uh, security uh features of the snort and bfsense uh, see uh, and also let's make a sin oh sorry let's delete remove this and we will go and we will try this again and let's go to the blocked you can see now also so thank goodness for uh, the uh, free software projects that provide you uh, for your home for your uh, let's say small office but you can also make uh, let's say make your uh, make your part of your participation uh, in this project by doing uh, maybe donation by uh, requesting some services to keep those uh, companies up and running to protect you and to uh, keep you safe uh, from um, everything bad on the internet uh, now i will thank you for listening and have a nice time